So before I tell you these lost Halloween uh, traditions, um, I want you to play a little game with me and we'll guess the common theme between all of these apple bobbing. Y you can't make <laughs> some of the these things up. So according to fruit historian Joan Morgan, in the early days of America, when the Europeans um, came over, they brought over some of their weird traditions, and one of these were that apples were a sign of fertility. So on Halloween, women would either write a symbol or their name on an apple and put it in a barrel of water, and then the men would bob for the apples, and then whoever's apple the man got was the woman he would said to be married to peeling apples. So back when peeling apples was a like a town-wide thing, young single women would <laughs> peel apples um, in a long strand and throw it over their shoulder and if it landed in the form of a letter that would be the initial of their future husband. Can you can you see a pattern forming? Scrying. So uh, law surrounding the late 1800s to the early 1900s um, said that women would be like on Halloween uh, women would be able to see the face of their future husband if they looked into a mirror in a darkened room I think I've also read that they, you have to do it within candlelight as well but fortune telling parties. So when the early Americans uh, used to celebrate Halloween, they would um, kind of mix Native American customs and their customs together. Neighbors would throw uh, parties, which celebrated the harvest by dancing, singing, reminiscing about the dead, and telling each other's fortunes. Roasting hazelnuts. Following a tradition that originated with the ancient Celts, single women from Scotland would uh, go out, gather some hazelnuts, um, write the initials of all their like suitable suitors, if you will, um, and toss them in a fire. And those that turn to ash instead of popping would symbolize that that person is their future like love interest or is meant to be their future husband or something. Eating sweets. So a lost uh, tradition uh, that was brought over to the Americans, the Americas, um, from Scotland was, uh, so single women would eat um, sweetened dishes of sugar, walnuts, hazelnuts, and nutmeg. And it is said that if a woman eats this before bed, she will dream of, drum roll please, her future husband hiding jewellery in potatoes. The Irish are screaming right now. So a Halloween tradition dating back to the 18th century. This tradition comes from Ireland um, and it is said this is Big Mooch. This is Salem's sister, big sister, little sister. We don't know the order they were born. This is a tradition dating back to Ireland in the 18th century and it surrounds, drum roll please, uh, matchmaking. So uh, women would make, um, would hide jewellery um, in a bowl of coal cannon and anyone who finds the ring or like a piece of jewellery is said to be that person's future husband. So I hope they don't do this at like family reunions because that would be weird. Chestnut hunting. So parties would often um, include a chestnut hunt where the first woman or man, I don't think it specifies, the first person to find, I think it's woman, uh, the first woman to find, to find chestnuts would be the first one to walk down the aisle. Did you see the common theme with all of the, well, with like 80% of these. Um, so apparently Halloween used to be the Valentine's Day <laughs> of the 18th century. I don't know if they celebrated Valentine's Day back then. They probably did. But I didn't realize how like how many old traditions were surrounded by like love and stuff. It's a very not 
the val that's not the Halloween I celebrate. It's the Valloween I celebrate. I might be doing a lot of these for Valloween. <laughs> They're very funny. So I hope you liked that video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you did, and share it with your friends. Bye.